Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Roddy! I'm Marty. Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, everybody. We... We cleared the first trial period yep. <laughs> with Wesley Stickler. Now, we're back to the investigation, Marty's favorite part. Yeah. It'll be fun. Maybe. Wow, why the heck is this, like, place so crowded, cl cluttered? I was gonna say crowded, but there was no because people. Because Trucy puts all her props here. And Trucy's like, don't worry about me! And, like, <laughs> Phoenix Ray's <Ray's> like, <sighs> June 16th, 2.23 p.m., write anything agency. What a train wreck that was! I'm glad we made it out of that trial alive. Really? I had fun. And Walkie made it through the day, too. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. <laughs> but it was good publicity. Imagine the crowd at my show tonight. You should come, Polly. Yeah. The amazing Mr. Hat will be making an appearance. Hi, folks. I'll be here all week. That's about enough of him. No, I forgot about her. Hello? Ah! Miss Tiala! Thank you for today. The trial went well. Oh, right. Uh, no problem. Do you think Walkie will be okay? Well, he's not guilty. Yet. Please, you have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. Oh, congratulations! Ah, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let him... L please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I don't care about you at all. <laughs> she's, so, she's just such a bland character. She's such a bland character, and that's why I'm like, uh, voice? Uh... Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it. And I love Waki with all my heart. Aw, that's so sweet. So it doesn't bother you that you'll be, um, married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say, where did, where did you and Waki first meet, anyway? Good question. Miss Tiala doesn't look like the type of gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. Ah, office romance! I can't imagine Waki getting an office, office job. Office romance? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? Did you know that the boss is trying to get out of the business? R really Mr. Kataki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently out of the blue. I hear there's quite a lot of confusion in the ranks. Hmm, I wonder if this explains that apron. I can't imagine Waki going along with that. <laughs> He's highly motivated, isn't he? Um, that's not the word I would have used. He said, I'll be the next big boss and keep the family alive. I think he's at that age when boys want to make a mark on the world. That's not the way I would have put it. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. The Kitaki family's been making a killing recently. Again, not the way I would have put it. But Waki says it's not about the money. They have a gr gangster tradition to uphold. Ooh, a generation gap. They've even got the ever-classic what about the family business thing going on. Usually it's the father worried about tradition. 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 Can I ask you a question about Waki? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Maractus. Apparently, yes. I was in his clinic about a half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. But then he just let me go without a word. See you later, bye. So I gotta go in and get another doctor patch me up again. Yes, it sounded horrible. Waki had always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? N no, th that can't be right. I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd like to know a little more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maractus Clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Walkie's in your hands, Mr. Justice. R right! M leave it to me! Apollo, I think you're only 
making her more nervous? Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm new at this, okay? <laughs> it's alright. I believe in you. Uh, where should we go? Mm, let's go to Phoenix Wright. Oh, nothing. It's not here. Not even with the toy piano. <laughs> Duh! 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 Alright, where else should we go? Uh, detention center. What's up, homie? June 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Hmm, looks like Walkie's out questioning. I really need to talk to him! I guess we'll come back later. I just realized, today's June 16th, isn't it? It is, yes. That's really weird. Time of recording, it is June 16th. Excuse me. Yes? The other suspect is all through with questioning, sir. The other... Ah, oh, you mean the panty snatcher! Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him too? Alright, let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I won't regret this. He's a valuable witness. He is a bit precious, I'll give him that. Oh boy. Please, keep this brief if you would. I'm quite busy. I need to finish this paper. Yeah! It's you! Mr. Stickler, we'd like to have a few words with you. Very well. As long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. I guess that's good. I thought he was just gonna go running out of the room. Ooh, I like the detention center music too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mr. Stickler, on the night of the murder, you stole- Wait! I can't help but feel that I'm being misunderstood! How exactly? Yes, that night I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it, nothing more! You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? Y you are here too? Oh great, Trucy! Teach me! Huh? I must know the secret of your panties! My very existence hates the this, balance! This poor guard! <laughs> Please make me your apprentice! Apollo, help! I don't know, I think he'd make a great, lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo. Could you relate what you saw the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night, of this I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol, or something like that, at the victim. Just pointing a pen. <laughs> That's when I shouted, Stop, you two! Let's resolve this like gentlemen. That, that was not what he said. And the next moment, a shot was fired. And this is- Oh, wait. And this, and, and this is all true? Really? My panties are gone, my innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I possibly have to lie? I can't think of anything you'd want to hide more than panty snatching, true. It sounds like Walkie was at the scene of the crime after all. How I wish it weren't so. <laughs> Check it out! I'm an attorney! Fine, ignore my evidence. See if I care. I'm trying to imagine. I wonder what he's thinking. I'll take a thought. Let's not go there. I wonder <laughs> if it's just like you present it and then he just is like, hmm. And, like, turns to the side like that still. <laughs> That'd be great. The, that's it! The mystery! The unanswerable riddle! Actually, they're just a normal pair of panties. W what How is that possible? It just takes practice, that's all. Then you must teach me! You must! To think if I could produce a pencil, an eraser, a textbook, and a lunch? All from a pair of panties, my life would be complete. He's serious, isn't he? <laughs> oh, gosh. I do not want to talk about that pair of underwear. <laughs> yeah, nobody does. I don't think anything we else actually does anything. Oh, wait. Oh, hang hey, on. Dude, this is your cell phone. <laughs> oh, he apparently- he doesn't want it back. It's too girly for my taste. Well, okay. I, I do want to know why he's wearing the graduation outfit when he has say when he's only a junior. Uh, Kentucky Mansion or Eldoon's house? Oh boy, let's get Kentucky Mansion over with. I know a little plum's gonna be there. June sixteenth, Kentucky Mansion. Yipes! She's back. Hey, you two, over here. Uh, uh, us? Yo, little plum. What's up? 
I think all this gangster is a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retrie you retrieved my bloomers. W well, I was just doing. Bah! A man speaks clearly and takes credit when it's due. Cut thief, didn't you? Uh, yes. Sorry, I, I caught him. You're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. But enough about bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? W walkie uh, Well, he's, um... Clearly! Y yes ma'am! This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Hmm. He's really everything you'd expect in a boss's son. I'm going to be a gangster, dude. The life does have an appeal for the age. Particularly for boys. What? Don't look at me like that! He was shot in a turf war about half a year ago. Yes, we heard the story from Waki. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if I had a pistol then- Kai. Even if he- Even if I had a pistol then- Bam! <laughs> <laughs> even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's hard, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. I should know. I'm his mom. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully, when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out their differences. The boss? You mean, Waki's father? They didn't seem to be on the best terms, did they? Like father and son. <laughs> like it's father true. and son. <laughs> One of our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from the mansion. We kind of figured, given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days, curse you gun laws! <laughs> Everyone should have guns. Wow. No, I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> None of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself, and Waki could have taken it. I see. I'm sure the cops will continue tromping all over the mansion because of this case. Maybe this is a sign that it's time for a change. Ha 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 ha! She doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Yeah. But I'm concerned for my boys. Yeah, Waki's fiance. They're getting married next month, correct? I suppose. She's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that, little plum. How'd you guess? Even I could tell that. Could you tell us more about her? Waki brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. <laughs> oh, I just realized Oh, it's y'all. She's like Myra Midki. <laughs> Her head is empty like a flower pond. <laughs> From holes. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. A little bit. You want me to decide. <laughs> Otherwise, um... Little plum. I mean, I might have said this already. Kind of looks a little bit like the fat girl from. Um, You've mentioned from that. There. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh still does. wait, from, from from Marnie was there. Yeah. You said from Gravity Falls last time. That last time that and then, but because the Marnie was there girl also wears the yukata. Is that what it's called? If I was kimono. There's two. A yukata is like one layer. It's more like a literal bathrobe that you tie, and then you have an obi and stuff, and then the kimono is like several layers. So what I'm hearing is the kimono has distinctive layers. Yes, it does! <laughs> okay. Kimonos are more like, um, the equivalent of like, you're going to a wedding and like, I'm wearing a ball gown and you're wearing a tuxedo. Like, it's like the really, really fancy oh, type wow, of okay. thing. And then you Yukata's like, oh, you're going to a festival. Okay. Yukata. Oh, okay. Like, more like that. Oh, she's pretty enough, but, you know... Uh, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in the business too long. And you start to only see darkness in people. No, I, I think it's pretty weird. I think it's weird that she's like, Oh, gangster, sure, go for it. It's fun, and like, nobody Maybe has Maybe she's fun. just really naive and doesn't know the full extent be. of like, the mob. I also think she's just like, maybe in it for the money. Yo, dog. <laughs> I don't know. You get a nose for it. A nose for people, a nose for trouble. Hmm, I wonder what the problem is. It's like a gangster's only version of female intuition. Like father and son. <laughs> the boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Waki seems, well, it seems like he's against his father's position. 
Ah, uh, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. Trying to cut our ties to the shadier side of the street and do more of the up and up. Aki isn't too enthusiastic about the change. It's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? <laughs> it pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. For the wedding? <laughs> we don't want to spend gangster money on the wedding. <laughs> it's not like gangster money comes with like blood a, on it. With a blood on it or like a thief instead of George Washington <laughs> on the bills. <laughs> it's like in Link's Awakening, if you steal from the shop that you get everyone calls you thief from then on. Really? And if you go back to the shop, the shopkeeper instantly kills you. Oh, so then <laughs> Oh, yeah! I forgot about because that. Because at, at some point, you either need to steal the bow from the shop, or you need to grind up to 980 rupees to buy the bow. <laughs> oh. I see. Hmm, something must be up. He'll see things the way the boss sees them. Someday. Well, here's your panties back. Yeah, we really don't want these. Um, about these? Hey, my bloomers! Thanks for that, I owe you one. Um, I thought you might like them back, so... Eh, no, no, no. Why don't you keep them as a souvenir? Oh, no, I couldn't, really. Thanks for the offer, but... I could use those in my magic panties act. I'll pull shivs and pieces and godfathers out of them. Great! Now your props are going for bland to dangerous. Wow, we're... she doesn't want them back. Great. So this pistol belongs to the Kataki Mansion, is that correct? It's one of those pieces we keep around. That is, we used to keep it around. They're all gone now. Oh? Police came yesterday and took everything. Everything but my broom! <laughs> Don't you think you should have given them that too? You kidding? Can't clean up very well without a broom! <laughs> her broom is the best. Yeah, part I think it's great. Of her. Can you tell me if this knife belongs to Waki? Oh, that's his knife, alright. Bought it for him for his birthday. Wow, that's a pretty hardcore present. I got a sword for my birthday. This that's year. true. Marty did got to get a sword from our, from our grandpa. Not like, not like, hey Marty, you need a sword. But like, this was like passed down. Like he like worked in was the Vietnam War, or K Korean War, Korean, Korean War. Yeah, he was like worked in the he he Korean was working War, in the but Korean he was War. He, in Japan. He, it was working in Japan, and like someone gave it to him. It was it was really funny. He was just like, hey. You could use this. I thought I might give it to Artie, but you could use this sword. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Sure. It's, it's really it's cool. It's pretty cool. I remember him falling asleep with it clutched in his arms. Uh, that's pretty weird. That's dangerous. Oh, I know the feeling. I bet he was just as happy as I was with my plastic spaghetti. Uh, do you want... Sorry, kid. I got no idea what you're talking about. Oh. What about that, uh, the, the mirror? This is the mirror we found. From the hit and run, huh? It's funny how it all ties together like this. You chase after a hit and run and end up with Walkie's attorney. Of course, you'll find the real killer soon, won't you? It's Plum. <laughs> I, would, be... I really want it to be Plum. I think the real killer is gonna be the girl. Oh! Because oh. it's always the bland people. <laughs> it's never the ones that are completely crazy. It's always the ones never, that are it's like- It's not the Moe's, it's the normal people. <laughs> yeah, it's just the guy that's like, I, I'm i just the picture of contentment sitting in my chair with my birds and I murdered someone. Like, it's always the quiet ones that are like, whatever, man. Just just letting the, the river run by. Like, I'm refreshing like a spring business. breeze, dude. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Looks like that old lady's at it again. Look, I told you yesterday the park's off limits. And I told you yesterday, this is how I go home. Okay, you want me to go around? How about giving me five bucks, like yesterday? <laughs> the con artist strikes again. <laughs> wow. This trash can, this is where we found the mirror. Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in here? Something near the bottom. Look at the paint on these. That means these must have ended up in here after Mr. Wright's accident. Maybe they're connected. Let, let's pick them up. Slippers added to the court record. I should have given the new girl, like, a valley girl voice. 
<laughs> and, and we did like, Tiala. Oh my, and, yeah. Oh my God. We're getting married next month. Hey, y'all. Hey. Alita Tiala here. Uh, that's not even a good Valley Girl voice. I can't do a Valley Girl voice. Uh, no, that's... me, I'm saying. Not you. You're doing as good as you can. <laughs> I feel like if you could do a good Valley Girl voice, then you would have done that for a lot of heart. <laughs> no, a lot of heart is like Southern or bust. No offense. <laughs> is there a difference? <laughs> yes, there's a difference. Valley Girl's like that. And then I was like, oh my God. And then I was like, oh my god. And there, I don't know. They're just like. That's the, just teenage girl. Yeah, but it's like a valley girl type teenage girl. Valley girl means like summer next. I really that. like. I don't know. What, what valley girl. I'm, I don't have a lot of valley girl friends because they're obnoxious. <laughs> All of them. Every single one. If you're a girl from the valley. No, no. It's, it's, the, it's the voice. It just drives me nuts. I honestly, when I meet people. Like, their voice usually has a lot to do with whether or not I even <laughs> like them in the first place. Oh, wow. It does, just because people's voices are, like, important. Whenever they talk, you hear it. That's true. June 16th, Eldoon's house. Sorry. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon! Oh, Mr. Eldoon! <laughs> What's wrong? So you found my stand. That's why I'm here, to thank you. Uh. But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have it back! That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. Ah, uh, I see. How could a noodle stand be a, <laughs> to be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trucy doll. Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell you. Bah! Can't even cook an honest noodle. He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I tell you, it's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. Remind me never to eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. That's Stan. For generations, it served up the very best noodles us Eldoons could make. A tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand, it's history, I tell ya. Watch what you say or it might become true. That's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right. You said something about that. About you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Trucy doll. Ah, I was a go-getter back in my day. Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stand to earn my fortune. Mr. Eldoon, I, I don't mean to pry, but what exactly did you do before you became a chef? <laughs> bah! Let old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that. Huh. Mr. Eldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Maractus Clinic? Eh? Eh? I couldn't help but sense some enmity there. <laughs> enmity? I hate him! Er, hated. Him acting like he's been smelling like roses when he's rolling in mud. Excuse me? He's the only doctor at that clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you the secret to his success. The mob. You mean, the Kataki family? Is this gonna be another case of, like, the... Oh, well, we're having this whole thing and then my daughter's involved. Is it gonna be, like, daughter of the Maractus Clinic marries son of mob to seal deal? <laughs> we'll will see, I suppose. That's what I think might be. <laughs> they're always having one of them turf wars or whatnot, and I don't mean by playing Splatoon. I mean, like, uh, they're actually shooting each other. I need to play Splatoon. <laughs> always an injury or two that needs fixing. Maractus saw a chance for some business. So we started giving the Kentucky family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. He stole the idea from my pops! One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. <laughs> Can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But it got him good, him in good with the family. Pretty soon he was getting all the business in town. Leaving me here in the dark. Up to my neck in soupy noodles. I think I figured out Mr. Eldoon's former occupation. Can't hurt to ask, Apollo. Mr. Eldoon, or should I say, Dr. Eldoon? Figured it out, did ya? That's right, I was a doctor, a surgeon, until the year before last. What? So Mr. Maractus was your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? 
Um, yeah, kind of. You take a spoon, you drink some broth, those onions will find their way in there. For people who like him, why, that's just fine. For people who hate him, I hate onions. Hate him! Always sneaking in from the side, getting in the way of a good tasted spoonful. Well, that's what he was. An onion. Onion boy, that's what I called him. <laughs> so, you weren't exactly friends. Ha! Me and Palmeractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. One of them pushed them into the sawdust, and they were like, Meh. I don't know why I made the voices of, of the kids from Wind Waker. <laughs> no matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past me if I had so much as a howdy. <sighs> Been there, done that with annoying people. I see. That's right. I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. He's even kind of dressed like a surgeon still. Yeah, he is. Then <laughs> that no good onion boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade in my scalpel for a ladle and play harmonica until I had to get the blues. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with an old man's ramblings. No, it's fine. By way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop by. Huh? You're investigating Maractus, aren't you? Yes? Well, you want to know about a doctor? <laughs> you ask a doctor, that's all I'm saying. You just think of me if you need something, Trucy doll. Right, thanks, Mr. Aldoon. Hmm, I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. Well, no, it certainly wasn't. Yeah, Usually we're getting in a bit more of the backstory. And that is all the time we have for this episode. We actually did kind of a lot in this video. Yeah, some of it was we did, like, the really short things in a row. That's true. Tune in next time, everybody, and we'll be continuing the investigating. I'm not really sure what else... I know what else there is to do. I can't remember exactly how much, though. So maybe we'll do it all next video. Maybe it'll take okay. two. I okay. don't know. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.